for the CLDB, so um, a name container. So when a data is created, there there are two things that comes in. The first one is the data container, and the next one is the name container. So the name container holds the metadata for the files and directories in the volume and also the first 64 kilobytes of each file. While the data container contains the data of the whole file itself. Just remember, the data container and the name container can have different replication factor. And the data replication happens at volume level. And this can be configured in MCS. And if you want high availability, install more Zookeeper in the nodes. But just remember, if you go for more a bigger cluster where there are more nodes, MapR actually recommends you to install Zookeeper up to seven nodes in the seven nodes just to make sure that Zookeeper does not take up all the resources. Just remember in this scenario, I'm talking about small cluster, but if you're going for a big cluster, obviously you will have control nodes and data nodes instead of having in the small and medium cluster where you have some kind of a control as a node configuration. If you want to know what kind of configured services on a given node, then you go for to this directory slash shop slash map r slash roles and it this will contain the list of configured services on a given node. If you go to slash shop slash cores directory, this is where the copies of the content of memory where when a certain anomalies are detected. Just remember, whenever a core file is created, an alarm is raised. So these are the uh, simple commands as a MapR cluster admin you will do. If you want to start a Zookeeper, just type service MapR hyphen Zookeeper start. Just remember, Zookeeper is the first service that actually starts a node. So that's the command to start the zookeeper. If you want to stop the zookeeper, service space map r hyphen zookeeper start will stop the zookeeper. And if you want to know query the status of a zookeeper, just append q status and it will give you the zookeeper status. And just remember, warden depends on zookeeper quorum. The other thing you want to know is some of the MapR commands, frequently used MapR commands as a cluster admin, I always do. One thing is I want to know what kind of services that runs on a node. So I'll issue a command called MapR CLI service list, even though you can actually see them visually in MCS. The other way to list the service in a node is by going and querying the node parameters for example, if you issue a, um, a command map R C L I node list hyphen columns ID IP and SVC, it'll actually give you the configured services on a particular node. If you want to list the CLDBs, then you can use the command map R C L I node list CLDBs. Of course, you can actually use you can actually see the CLDB services in MCS, but I will use this command to know how many CLDB nodes are there. And if you want to know which is the CLDB master, then you issue a command map R CLI node CLDB master and then give you the the node that actually is behaving as a CLDB master. And if you want to know the what kind of topology you are in, so then you issue a command called map R CLI node topo. Okay, so this is the main important thing in, in cluster. 
if you are a cluster admin, then there are only five permissions you can do on the cluster level. The first one is login. Just remember, this actually gives you a permission to use the API, CLI, and grant read access to the cluster and volumes, which means people can still read the content if you're given login permissions. And, and if you want to give a cluster a user SS, which means they can start and stop the services, a CV is will grant the user permission to create volumes. An A will actually give the user ability to edit and view ACLs. And FC is the full control. And if you want to, to be an admin, then you have to give them both FC and also A that gives them all the other permissions. So the other one is the volume permissions. So if you give a dump permission, which means they can dump or back up a volume. If you give a restore permission, which means they can mirror or restore a volume. And M is M permission is just to modify the volume properties. And D is for deleting the volume. Just remember, if you are given M permission, which means you can create and delete snapshots. A volume permission of A will actually help you to view and edit volume permissions. And FC is to perform all operations except A. So if you give a permission called FC and A, which means you inherit DM, restore, and dump as well. So these are some of the MapR utilities, which I will talk in my next video.